Hey, I hope you've been enjoying my fanfiction. I go by Marlo Alatore, and I wanted to let you know about how and why this fanfiction is going to change somewhat going forward. For some context, I first started writing the story after reading Iron Flame. In an effort to cure my book hangover, I went looking for fanfictions and found that any of the Zayden POVs that had been written at that point had kind of been undermined by the new revelations from Iron Flame. Understandably, the authors of those fanfics decided not to completely rewrite their entire books to take into account that Zayden had apparently been an intrinsic all throughout Fourth Wing, and just decided to let their work stand on its own with the caveat that it was written before Iron Flame, and now they're fascinating insights into what the fandom was thinking back when we only had the first book. So what bearing does this have on how I'm going to approach the completion of my story? Well, I feel like I need to preface this with my rationale for why I'm making this decision. One of my very favorite pieces of feedback I've gotten said, quote, I really appreciate how much depth you give everyone and how much your interpretation fills in so many gaps and provides a richer reading of the original. Reading that was so gratifying that I want it to remain true. I hate the idea of new revelations meaning that my fanfic no longer fits with canon. I don't want my story to just be a snapshot of some of the ideas the fandom was batting around between books two and three. I'm hoping that any revelations we get in Onyx Storm won't be quite so destructive to the entire premise of my story like the intrinsic bombshell was to those first Zayden POVs. I'm sure some of the stuff I've written will end up being disproved, but hopefully fixing those things wouldn't be as hard as having to pretty much rework the entire book. The bottom line is that ideally, I'd like for my story to remain relevant after Onyx Storm. Assuming the third book does include stuff that invalidates parts of my version, as long as the rewrites aren't too extensive, I plan on making those changes to what I've already written so far, and then completing the story, incorporating any new Onyx Storm revelations as well. For example, how did Zayden know that the Sage was coming for him? It wouldn't surprise me if there's events we don't know about yet going back at least as far as Resin, so I want to be able to incorporate those. In the meantime, I'm not in a rush to pump out a bunch more chapters that I'd likely have to end up changing later on too. That's not to say that I'm going to stop altogether. I will continue posting new text chapters to Archive of Our Own, where you can already read chapters 23 and 24, potentially several more depending on when you're watching this. And in those chapters, I'm going to be leaning harder into some theories I've been working on as a fun detour until I have all the context I need to create a finalized version of things. If you're invested enough to have finished my whole fanfiction so far, I wouldn't be surprised if you'd also enjoy diving into the part of the Empyrean fandom where people like me overanalyze possible clues as to what we might expect to happen later in the series. If so, you'd probably like these videos I've already made, speculating about what I think Violet's second signet is going to be, who the main villain of the story will end up being, and a third one that I can't even really give a proper title without implying a potential spoiler, so I can only really say that it's about secret powers. I'm also considering making another video diving deeper into my theory about that prophecy I explored a little bit through Liam in chapter 22 of this fanfiction, so let me know down in the comments if that's something you'd like me to do. So, that's the kind of thing I'm going to be more focused on until Onyx Storm comes, at which point I can do any revisions to the existing parts of my fanfiction, and then I'll finish writing it on Archive of Our Own and creating the audio version here on YouTube. I will admit, there is also another reason I have for planning to proceed this way. I feel like my writing has improved a lot with all of this practice I've put in creating this fanfiction, and I'm feeling more ready to try and go for a lifelong dream I've had of becoming a legitimate published author. So another reason for the slowdown over the last couple of months is that some of my free time that would normally have gone toward working on the fanfiction has instead been spent working on an original novel of my own. I probably won't share it on my channel here until it's at a more finalized state, but I at least have a draft of the first five chapters, and if you're so inclined, you can find that on Archive of Our Own as well. If you've liked my writing in this fanfiction, I hope you'll like that too, but I should include the disclaimer that it is much different. It is still a romance, since I'm hoping to entice some of the audience from this fanfiction to check it out and hopefully increase the chance of getting it published as a result, but it's not fantasy, and frankly it's much more focused on another topic that's very important to me personally. So in summary, until Onyx Storm comes out, there will only be limited text updates to the fanfiction while I wait for the context necessary to finish the story the way I hope to. There are already at least two more chapters beyond what's available here on YouTube, so feel free to check that out on Archive of Our Own, link in the description. A lot of that theory stuff I'm also exploring deeper in separate videos, several of which are already available here. And finally, if you want to check out the first several chapters of my own original book, there's a link to that in the description as well. Thanks for watching.